Everton are in advanced talks with Leeds United over a loan move for Jack Harrison. Now, Harrison, who played 29 games in the Premier League last season for the Toffees, scored three goals. This was mentioned before the season had even finished that Everton wanted to keep Jack Harrison again. It was uh, made a lot easier by Leeds United's failure to get promoted, uh, which meant that just the way Harrison's contract is, a loan move back to Everton was was a far easier deal to do. I think if this would have been a permanent deal, I don't think Everton could have done it. And it helps Leeds out as well. It keeps Harrison uh, somewhere else getting his wages paid as opposed to them paying it because he did sign a long-term contract with them while he was still in the Premier League, of course. Sean Dykes really likes Harrison. Harrison, you know, good hard work and wide play. Don't think... Everton got the best out of him last season. He played predominantly off the right-hand side for the Toffees. I think he, he's more comfortable on the left, and we'll have to wait and see whether Sean Dyke moves him around a little bit this season. But Everton, where they are right now, in terms of budget and everything, this is a, a good, solid sign for Everton. He was part of the team and the squad last season. He did well. He knows exactly what the manager wants. And don't forget, last season, he didn't have a pre-season or anything like that. He came in to the club injured and... You know, Everton had to try and get him fit, and then he had to get in and try and find his rhythm. So I think having a preseason under, you know, under his belt this summer will it will certainly help him. But that looks like that deal is about to be done. Uh, Everton have reportedly submitted an offer for Eduardo Bove, who has had opportunities to leave AS Roma. Of course, there is uh, an ongoing takeover bid by the Freaking Group, who also own Roma. So you know whether this links that he's a 22 year old midfield player for Italy. He has uh, played 31 games last season for Roma. He registered two assists, didn't score them. <laughs> the reported asking price for Bowie is thought to be around €20 million. Euros. Again, this could simply be two links. You know, fella owns one club, wants to buy the other. And this is a player who could move between the two. Who knows? But uh, that as that face propped up last week, that story, and it, it's back again this week, so we'll wait and see. Uh, according to reports today, Manchester United are expected to improve their £35 million offer for Jared Branthwaite, which was rejected over the weekend. Uh, United offered £35 million plus £10 million in add-ons, which Everton rejected out of hand. Uh, although, apparently, Man United have... Uh, contracted Everton to ask for their valuation to be more realistic or they will walk away okay off you pop cheerio there's other defenders I've said it before if you want Jared Brantwaite pay what he is worth and what he is worth to Everton Football Club it doesn't matter whether you're a Manchester United fan and think he's only worth 35 million he isn't but if you know what he's worth to Everton is 75 80 million pound if you don't want to pay that money going by someone else. There's no... These little threats through the media, United will walk away. Off you go then. Off you go. Leave him where he is. It's as simple as that. If you want the player, pay the money. If you don't want to pay the price what we value, Matt, go away. Dead simple. Uh, and finally, Everton have put up a huge super Kevin Campbell banner outside Goodison Park in honour to Kevin Campbell, who sadly passed away at the weekend at the age of 54. Campbell, who uh, was Everton's first black captain, scored, he played a huge role in keeping Everton in the Premier League, was a character, a larger-than-life character. Obviously, we we knew him um, personally. Lovely, lovely, lovely man, lovely human being. But Evertonians absolutely loved him. The outpouring of grief from Arsenal fans as well, all the clubs he played for, but from f football fans who he didn't play for, their club still could recognise what a lovely human being he was, and, and we're all still devastated at the, the news we received at the weekend, and it's great to see the football club have, have put that Super Kev banner up outside Goodison Park in honour of him, it's a thoroughly, thoroughly deserving uh, of the man, absolutely, a, we'll actually have a video out tonight, so check it out on Hutchison talking about Kevin Campbell. So check that out as well. Uh, that is it for us. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.